Hey guys, welcome to another video. It's been about three months since I've uploaded, so a few things have changed. The most obvious thing being my new car. She's a 92 S13 with a NA S15 SR20. So SR20 DE. Here's a little look at what that looks like. Freshly rebuilt. Yeah, fresh rebuild on her, only about 3000 Ks. So hopefully she holds up. Here's the kit that we're going to be installing. It's from GK Tech. Pretty basic braided line kit, but should get the job done. And in here we've also got a master cylinder stopper. So I don't know whether these actually do anything, but it's going to look good in the engine bay regardless. So yeah, let's get to it. You just start by taking that uh, banjo bolt off there. Brake lines are actually really simple to do, but it's the bleeding that's the hard part to do. But yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Two thousand years later. I've got stuff all over my face. It took us that long to break that loose. But now we're just tightening up the brake line. Good under there, isn't it Luke? <laughs> so we're finally moving on to bleeding that rear caliper. It's uh it's been about two hours since we started and we've only done one of the rear ones. Look at all these tools we have to try to use. This shifter broke. We've tried all of these tools. This spanner, even this thing came out of it. That little like darker metal bit, that came out and got stuck on the fitting. It's not fine. So it's actually now day two, um, we're on to the second rear brake line. We're also going to be installing the master cylinder stopper today, we'll see if we'll get that far. Alright, so we just got to that bolt in there on the second rear brake line. And stripped it. Yeah, it's nice and stripped, um, but we got her out with a helpful, helpful hand from Mr. Vice Grip there. Oh. Yeah, nice. Oh. Yeah, no. Sick of these nissens. Alright, finally. Finally that's off. And then we forgot to take the clip off underneath, so we'll just do that. And then, uh, yeah, the rear brake line, all the second ones, out. And that only took us about 20 minutes. And there we go. See this? That's where it belongs. Out with the old... In with the new. Quite a high quality line, manufactured by HEL or yeah, HEL. These are pretty much the only option for braided brake lines, so it's not like GK Tech just stocks some off brand Chinese stuff. It's uh, quality Australian made brake lines. Just waiting on Luke to tell me when to step on and off the pedal, the brake pedal that is, so we can bleed the rear line that we just put on. Both rear brake lines are now installed. You can see the nice new shiny line there. It was a um, bit of a mission, but so far we're doing 10 times better than yesterday. Just going to hit it with some degreaser under there, get rid of all the brake fluid and things like that, and then we'll be moving on to the front. So yeah, that should be a bit easier. We're just going to move on to the front now. The time is currently 5.15pm, and we're trying to get it done by 6. So we'll see if we can get both fronts and the master cylinder stopper installed in 45 minutes. <laughs> oh, <no>. oh, Buckled. <laughs> must have been from the track. <laughs> A lot easier than the back. So, that word of advice if you decide to do the rear brake lines, just drop the whole subframe. <laughs> It'll be that much easier. <laughs> also, keep the clip in before you undo the bolt just so it doesn't move around and it's easy to get to. Oh, oh, it's coming. There we are. Oh, straight in the bucket. Yeah. Got our front line on. That was way easier. We're um, just getting ready to bleed it now. There's pretty much no fluid in the caliper because of the way 
This one's angled, pretty much just all spurred it out when we took the line off and the banjo bolt. So Joel's just topping it up now and we're going to get to bleeding. So we're just unblocking the bleed valve. We went to bleed the brakes and nothing came through so hopefully this fixes it. What you want to do, it's really a two person job but you can do it by yourself. Um, open up the nipple and then get someone to stomp on the brakes. So press the brake down Joel. As you can see the fluid travels through there. Um, these are pretty well done, we didn't really need to do that much but like you'll usually see air bubbles travel through the tube itself. Once you see the air bubbles stop, you'll have to do it a few times but you just want to re-tighten it while Joel's still holding the pedal and then just tell him to take his foot off. Take the foot off Joel and that's it. So we're just moving on to the last brake line and that one was actually the culprit. You can kind of see how wet that is just there. So yeah, that was the cause of our spongy brakes. Come on. There we go. That's the last one installed. We're going to have to do something about this because it sits loose in the little clip there. Um, but we'll get that sorted with a zip tie or something like that. And uh, we're just going to be moving on to installing the uh, master cylinder stopper which is just a bracket that um, sits in there and just basically stops the master from flexing forward on the firewall and apparently it's really meant to improve uh, brake feel especially when you're uh, installing these braided lines as we have apparently you're meant to be able to notice a massive difference so I'm looking forward to driving the car hard after this and seeing how they hold up or how much of a difference they make in the stopping power we didn't install the stopper Oh, we're just so exhausted. I don't know what we're gonna do now. Um, probably just have a few drinks and stuff. A few beers. Bevies, mate. Get pissed. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I want... I'm just craving an S14. 